Hello Housewives fans, it's Justin Diego at Real Housewives of Atlanta on Instagram and I am back with another binge worthy video. So I have been reading the comments and I can't believe that you guys are so shady. Like you throw shade in a way that really shouldn't even be allowed. Like I should be able to like block, 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 but I'm going to let you guys do what you do. Like. I didn't know that so many people would not want to see Nene Leaks come back. Somebody commented, they're so pissed that Nene's coming back, but they're livid that Kim is coming back. Well, I also saw an interesting comment that said, if Candy is gone, I am not watching. Well, if that's the way you feel, you're going to be so excited to sip tea with me. Episode 2 of Rumors starts now. <laughs> So after last season, I have to be honest, guys, like I didn't think that Candy would like ever like want to even sit on the couch at Bravo again because things got really dark and really bad for her. But I am so happy to announce that Candy officially announced her comeback to season 10 last week. In case you guys missed it, she went on the Today Show and she explained why she was coming back. And I think that her reasoning made a lot of sense. Um... You know what? Last year was very stressful for, for me, but um, I decided that, you know, I'm not going to let that get, get the best of me. Bravo has been great to me, um, you know, as far as like I've met my husband through the show. Um, we got married with my own spinoff. It's just so many positive things that have outweighed the negative for me as far as it pertains to the show. You know, that's one of the reasons why each season Candy's storyline is so much different. She uses the platform to create like new businesses and new experiences for her fans that I actually really like. And I know that it would be really silly for her to walk away from that because I don't think that any other celebrity besides like the Kardashians really get to use that platform in the way that Candy does. If you guys remember, earlier this year, Radar Online leaked all of the Real Housewives of Atlanta's earnings and you may recall that Candy was actually the highest paid, raking in an estimated 1.8 million. So yeah, like, would it really make sense to walk away from such a hit reality show, which gives you the platform to like sell your businesses and like really like broadcast yourself to the world? And on top of that, you also get like a really cute check. Like, I'm so happy that she made the decision to stay and I really hope that she doesn't regret it and I hope that they do right by her. You know, even in the midst of all the chaos last season, Candy still managed to launch the Old Lady Gang, which is a family restaurant that she really, really wanted to work with her family and, and build together. We named the restaurant after my mother and her sisters. <laughs> uh, people have seen them on the show and because they, you know, have a little spunk, you know, people call them the Old Lady Gang. But there we go. Know, when it came to our restaurant, <laughs> I learned a lot of recipes from my mother, her sisters, my grandmother. And so we just took those recipes and made this restaurant. A lot of people have posted on Instagram about how great the food is. I haven't been yet, but she did give a quick update on the Today Show about how they're doing. My husband, he put the whole thing together and, you know, people love it. It's crazy. The line is down the street every day. Oh, that's crazy. Every single day we have a crazy. line. You know, my family, they're really involved. They're there all the time. You know, people love to take pictures with them and, you know, and the food is good. Yeah, and that's that, good. That that's, helps. That helps. I couldn't be more happy for my family. So the ladies have been filming quite a bit. Haven't seen much from Candy, but she did attend Cynthia's really awesome look-alike party where Cynthia celebrated her birthday. At this party, it looks like Cynthia had all the ladies choose their favorite Cynthia Bailey look and try to pull it off at this group event. Uh, and some of the pictures on Instagram look really nice. Later, it was revealed that Candy actually won this Cynthia Bailey look-alike contest. And if you look at the picture, I'm pretty sure we can all agree like hers was like the most awesome to look at. Okay, so I know you all want to know about the drama that is inevitable on every season of Housewives. I can report 
but unfortunately I have nothing. <laughs> Which is a good thing in Candy's case. It has been rumored that her and Portia are somewhere in between like moving on and like avoiding each other. Um, me personally, I really want to be careful about what I confirm because I don't know for sure yet. But I do hear that things between her and Mimi are actually looking pretty good. Here's what Candy had to say about her very first run-in with Mimi Leaks for season 10. Just, I, mean, I just taped with Mimi the other day. And of course, you know, there's always a little drama there, but <laughs> so far she and I are on good terms, okay. which is unusual mm -hmm. compared to right. past seasons. I'm actually not surprised that there is no, like, ongoing drama between the two of them because both ladies are doing extremely well and they really have no reason to beef. Um, if you guys recall, Nini went on Watch What Happens Live and she revealed to Andy that her and Candy had actually made a pact to go actually give each other like a chance, like to try to see if there's actually a possibility for any natural friendship there. You're have telling a me with you're her. in more touch with Candy than you are Phaedra? That's right. Candy has, me and Candy made a bet that we were going to try to, you know, be cooler with each other, you know, just try to get to know each other a little bit more. And, and we both have kept to that. Wow. Yeah. In one of the final scenes of the season where Nini made her first comeback, we saw that Candy and Nini were in the same room and they actually had a really cute scene. So, here are my final thoughts. Number one, I'm so happy that Candy's back and I'm so glad that she's vindicated in every way that she is. I am happy to confirm that Phaedra is no longer in the picture. She will be absolutely not holding a peach. And I also am hopeful that like Escape will make some appearances. I know that they're doing their own special that'll be appearing right after Housewives or right before. Not sure just yet. Um, I also want to see if Kim does come back, like what the dynamic will be between Kim and Candy, because for the season finale, I could see that there was a little bit of like a setup. And finally, I would like to know what Nene Leaks thinks about what happened last season with frickin' frat and the whole pussygate and all of that stuff. So <laughs> you tell me, like, are you guys happy to see Candy back on season 10? I think it's so weird that you have to go through all that drama to get back to a place where you can win so big. I'd like seeing the comments that you guys leave, so go ahead and tell me exactly how you feel. Let me know what you think about this video and what you want to hear and see next. Um, and if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel, Bingeworthy Now, for more Real Housewives of Atlanta Tea. Thanks for watching. See you next time.